Good morning, everybody, and welcome to this week's sports podcast. It's Friday, the 11th of February, 2022. A lot to get through this week, as usual. Um, we'll start with football, start with the FA Cup, looking back at last weekend's fourth round games. And the big surprises um, included Boreham Wood uh, winning 1 0 at Bournemouth, Manchester United being knocked out at home on penalties by Middlesbrough, and uh, the holders Leicester being annihilated, really, by Nottingham Forest by four goals to one, which was a big shock for them. Um, good performances by both Plymouth. Um, and Kidderminster, Plymouth lost 2-1 in extra time at Chelsea. I believe Ryan Hardy missed a penalty in extra time, so he could have made it 2-all, but he didn't, unfortunately, for them. And uh, Kidderminster were hit by two very late goals, one at the end of normal time and one at the end of extra time, to go out 2-1 against West Ham. So, a good performances there. Um, reward for Middlesbrough is a home tie against Tottenham in the next round. Boreham Wood are away to Everton um, in the next round and Nottingham Forest are at home to Huddersfield and that'll be a tough tie for them I think Huddersfield have already beaten them once in the league at the City ground this season so um, tough match for them there uh, Liverpool got through comfortably as did Manchester City they beat Fulham I think it was 5-1 in it 4 or 5-1 in the end up I think it was 4-1 actually and Liverpool beat Cardiff 3-1 so uh, yeah comfortable victory there Man City will be away to uh, Peterborough in the next round that'll be on TV I'm sure so that should be a good game to watch uh, from a Peterborough perspective um, yeah so that's what happened in the FA Cup the next round is the fifth round on I think it's played midweek at the start of, of March so keep your eyes open for those uh, games being announced which ones are going to be on ITV and BBC um, the Premier League was back this m- midweek games between Tuesday and Thursday and it's as we as you were at the top Manchester City and Liverpool both victorious comfortable 2-0 wins Man City beating Brentford at home and um, Liverpool beating um Leicester last night, 2-0, two goals from Diogo Jota and the return of Mo Salah came on for the last half hour after his uh, sojourn to the uh, African Cup of Nations. Um, in the exciting games of the week, the most exciting games, there were three all draw at Villa Park between Villa and Leeds. Great game, 3-2 at half-time to Villa. Leeds never went away, but kept attacking. Dan James had the best, probably his best performance he's had for Leeds since he's been there. Um, and that was a great game to watch and I think a draw was a fair result overall in the end. Uh, Southampton put in a great performance. I watched that on the highlights from Max of the Day last night, actually, against Tottenham. Uh, they won 3 2. They came back from 2 1 down to win 3 2. Good for Tottenham to see Son come back, but uh, good performance by Elia Nusi for Southampton in particular. I thought it was outstanding. Um, great game to watch. And the other good, really good game was the uh, Newcastle 3 1 victory over Everton. Uh, good performance by Newcastle. Everton will be looking over the shoulders now, but just ahead of the teams at the bottom. Um, obviously Newcastle's victory doesn't help them very much against them um, Norwich had a draw Burnley got a good result one all at home at Turf Moor against Manchester United they fought really hard and held on good goal by Jay Rodriguez there after Pogba had given Manchester United the lead early in the first half um, so there were the main games during the week um, it's tightly up still at the bottom like I say the top two were getting away Arsenal good result at Wolves last night 1-0 they're up to fifth now um, West Ham um, they won as well, um, so they're fourth, and Manchester United is still in there, uh, battling away, even though they didn't manage a victory. So, um, yep, yeah, all to play for at the moment. Um, uh, one nil was West Ham result, by the way. Jared Bowen scored the win in that game. Um, so, uh, this weekend, the TV games: Manchester United at home to Southampton tomorrow lunchtime. BT Sport, 12:30 kickoff. 5:30 game is Norwich against Manchester City on Sky. And the two Sky Sunday games are. Uh, Newcastle Villa at 2 p.m. and then you've got Leicester and West Ham at half past four. So they're the games to look forward on TV this week, and we'll see what happens this weekend's games. Um, in the African Nations Cup, Senegal beat Egypt on penalties. It was a nil-nil draw, a very dull game. A lot of the games have been dull, but I've seen. I've got to say the quality of the football has been quite poor. I think I've mentioned this before a few times. Um, but Mo Salah didn't even get a chance to take a penalty because the Egypt missed so many that they only needed four. Did Senegal to win it? Um, so I think it was 3-1 in the end up and, Senegal, and um, Egypt was obviously saving Salah to take the fifth penalty but he didn't. He wasn't required because he'd already lost by then so it's unfortunate for him he was consoled by Sadio Mane who ironically missed the game's penalty, penalty in the match itself early doors I think it was like four minutes but he scored the winning penalty in the shootout so a redemption for him and let's like say he consoled Salah afterwards uh, was really upset but it means a lot to the players no doubt um, but that's unfortunate for them. But Senegal, it's the first time they've won it, I think. So, well done to Senegal. Um, moving on, I'm back to English football now. In the National League, uh, Halifax Town's game last weekend was cancelled due to a waterlogged pitch. It's now It was against Bromley. It's been rearranged, I believe, for Tuesday, the 15th of March. 
so that's one to put in your diary um during the week there was a big game at the top stockport uh, home to chesterfield the top two and it finished in a two-all draw chesterfield were two goals up uh, goals from shimanga and asante but for chesterfield jeff king was sent off unfortunately for them on the 49th minute not that he's uh, shy away from um, disciplinary issues when he played for town and um, probably cost them the game because Stockport got back to two all with goals from Will Collar and Crowsdale. Um, so I, don't know if, I didn't actually follow the game. So whether they were hanging on in, I don't know, but it's got to be likely they were. Um, so they've thrown two points away. But it's better for us at the Purdue. Uh, Bromley also lost on Tuesday night at South Ends. That's good for us as well. And Tr Grimsby drew 0 0 at home to Kings Lynn. So they're all throwing points away. It's good for town. Uh, this weekend, it's the FA Trophy for most of the big teams. Um, and Halifax are at home to Notts County tomorrow. It's £15 to get in discounted entry price. So if you want to get yourself along, get yourself along. Uh, the other big game is probably going to you'd look at as being a good big game in the next round of the FA Trophy. It's the last 16, is this? Um, Wrexham against Boreham Wood. So they're two of the big matches this weekend uh, in the FA Trophy. All right, moving on away from football now. We're going to talk about the Super Bowl. The Super Bowl is this weekend, Sunday evening, late Sunday evening. And it's the uh, LA Rams taking on the Cincinnati Bengals. Um, a big night for Neil Barraclough and the Bengals team that he supports and loves. They've not done much for quite a while, but this year they've got the chance to win the big, what big, the big one. So the best of luck to the Bengals there. Um, half time show. A lot of people only watch it just for the half time show, but I'm aware of. So, but this week, this time, it's a rap special. We've got um, stars like Dr. Dre, um, Mary J. Blige, Eminem, um, Snoop Dogg, and we've got somebody else like me, or Kendrick Lamar. Are on, and there's going, to be, there's going to be a hologram of Tupac Shakur as well. We've been on the West Coast, so it makes sense to have it that as well. So, um, if you like your rap music or R&B and soul, should be a good uh, good performance there to watch at half time. Um, so, best of luck, like I say, to the Bengals there. Okay, moving on from Super Bowl, we're going to talk about rugby league. Um, the Super League has now started. I didn't look at the result last night from the first game, um, which was St Helens against Catalans. Um, but it was 8-6 to St Helens when I looked at it. Um, for people who haven't got Sky or any of the uh, subscription packages, you can watch Leeds against Warrington on Channel 4 Live because there are going to be some games on there this season for the Super League. That's at half past 12 Saturday lunchtime. Um, and also, um, mentioning Rugby League, um, Siddle are away to Hunslet tomorrow. You can watch that on the red button uh, on iPlayer, should I say, BBC from 1, that's a 1pm kickoff on Saturday lunchtime as well. And in the next round, the big boys, well, that's big boys start coming in. And I hadn't seen the draw, but Halifax are at home to Featherston in the fourth round. That's on the 26th to the 28th of February that weekend. So that's a big game for both sides there. In the championship, Halifax managed to win the second game of the season last weekend. They beat London convincingly 28-0 at the Shea. And they've got another tough game this weekend. They've got Widness at home. Um, Widness are unbeaten so far. Um, that's at the Shea and it's at 3 o'clock on Sunday. In the first television game on the Premier Sports, um, Featherston beat Lee comfortably 28 points to 6 on Monday evening. Um, I've got to mention also, Batley have started well, they've won both their games. Um, they've um, beat Halifax obviously in their first game, so they've started well as well. Um, so that's where we are with the Rugby League at the moment. Um, moving on to cricket now, and um, I've got to mention um, the England Test Squad's been announced um, for the tour to the West Indies in March, the three Test Series. And uh, congratulations to Halifax-born Alex Lees on being selected for the England Test team. It's great to see his name in there. Let's see how he gets on. He's done well since he's left Yorkshire and gone to Durham. Got some really good scores up there. So let's see if we can translate that form onto the international arena. Also, Matty Fisher of Yorkshire, as um, medium fast bowler, has been selected. So it'll be interesting to see how he goes. There's been quite a lot of criticism of why he's been, of, of his selection this week. But let's see how he gets on. Um, there's always people out there who think they know better than the selectors, but we'll find out in time whether the selectors have got it right or they've got it wrong. Especially when they've left out Broad and Anderson, um, giving them a rest for, for this tour. Um, so yeah, we'll see how they get on there. Um, in more local news as well, um, Bradshaw Cricket Club this week have announced the signing of Mickey Hustler, the former um, Gerlain captain. So uh, nice to see Mickey joining Bradshaw and hope he'll, uh, he'll fit him well. I'm sure the lads will make him welcome there. And... Um, any more transfer news, um, we'll let you know. I think they've got the Nets this weekend as well, uh, taking place at North Halifax uh, Grammar School. So if you have a look on the Bradshaw Cricket Club Twitter feed, you'll see exactly what uh, what's going on there. Um, next, we're going to talk about Rugby Union. Six Nations are underway now. Um, England were beaten at the death by Scotland 
um, in the Calcutta game, Cup game last Saturday, tea time. It was 20 points to 17 in the end up. Um, it was a good match. Um, I watched a little bit of it. I'm not a big fan of rugby union, but I did watch a bit. And it was quite entertaining, I've got to say. Um, but England just couldn't quite perform at the levels they needed to. Having a man in a sin bin at the vital time also didn't help them in the middle to the latter part of the second half. Um, so that was difficult for them. Um, Ireland uh, comfortably beat Wales at home. I think it was 29 points to 7 in the end. Um, and obviously France beat Italy. So we've got the this weekend we've got three games. Two on Saturday. Wales take on Scotland. Quarter past two on Saturday. Um, the second game on Saturday is France against Ireland. That's a quarter to five. And then the three o'clock kickoff on Sunday afternoon is Italy versus England. So England will expect to win that game. Um, they need to get some points on the board. They struggled last year. Last year. Hopefully they can get themselves up and running now um, with this one. And then finally, before I go, the last thing I want to talk about is the darts. Um, Premier League's underway now. We're on to the second week of the Premier League. And uh, at the moment, Johnny Clayton won last night. Um, I watched a little bit of it. And um, I thought that it was going to be an all-Welsh Wales fight, Welsh final. Um, I watched the semi-final. Cullen was losing. Joe Cullen was 4-1 down, I think, to go and Price. So I turned it off, turned it back on. And I saw that Clayton already qualified for the for the final, having beaten Michael Van Gerwen. Um, he just won, and I thought he must beat Price, but he hadn't. He'd beaten Cullen, who had come back to beat uh, to beat uh, Gerwin Price 6-5 in the semi-final. So but he beat um, Cullen 6-4. Cullen had been 4-1 up in the final. And he won six legs to four. So after two weeks, defend Clayton is the defending champion. Johnny Clayton, he's got eight points after two weeks. And he won last night. So he's ahead there. A long way to go. I think there's 17 weeks altogether. So, um, you know, keep your eyes on the darts. It's always good to watch on a Thursday night, especially when there's nothing else to watch. So, yeah, that's where we are with this week's sporting news. Um, I think that's all I want to cover this week. So, um if there's anything you uh, feel I've missed out or anything you want to comment on, leave me in the comments below. Otherwise, until next week, I'll see you then, and it's bye for now.